time, uh, the majority of the public, investors, pre-order consumers, are getting a, a in the flesh, first-hand look at the impulse. What, is, what does today mean to you in terms of not just the motorcycle, but Ramo in general? Yeah, we think this is a tipping point for the company. We've accomplished what we set out to, and we kind of pushed it a little further. And in doing so, the feedback that we're getting is amazing. So as an electric bike, you really have to be able to perform and accomplish everything that you set out. And I feel like we've done that with this bike. We really believe that at, at this point, a lot of those restrictions are gone. And part of it is the gearbox. So the performance and the feel when you get on this bike, you, you step away from it after you've ridden it and you say, this is like a gas bike. And you know, everybody is coming up with a different one, but I hear Triumph Triple, I hear Ducati Monster, I hear some very good you know, comparables. And at the same time, there's this idea of being indulgent. I get to ride my bike all the time, and I'm not using any fossil fuels. You know, and bikes don't use that much, but a Ducati Monster isn't exactly, you know, gas efficient. You know, it's not a scooter by any means. So, so I think from the side of being able to ride a bike fast, have a lot of fun, get all the performance, and not feel guilty about it, I think that's one side of it. The second one is in the world of motorcycling, not much has changed in the last hundred years. You know, it's got pistons and it's got exhaust pipes and, you know, we've had belt drives and we've had EFI. But, you know, there isn't like a landmark change in powertrain or in the technology. And that's what we think we have here. So we believe that you're going to see electric keep growing in, in terms of overall market share and in the segments that it gets to play in. And it'll be tied to the technology, but not many people I know ride 300 miles every day when they go to work. And you could do that with this bike if you have the charging infrastructure set up. So we think we've blown away the whole range anxiety issue. We're motorcycle enthusiasts. You know, we want to go fast and have fun and drop a knee. We want a bike that you can do that with. And that's what this bike is. So this particular bike could go racing in the new Super Stock and the TTX GP. Um, so we'll, we'll probably do that next year if we don't get them out on the track this year. But racing in general is what's improved the breed. Similar to what Honda did at the turn of the century, you know, in the 20s and 30s, in the early, early days, um, that racing makes our technology much better. So um, we went racing this weekend. We had a tough weekend with, with uh, accidents, but the technology was so powerful and so aggressive, you know, we've got new issues to deal with. But that's what makes our production bikes better. We're going to keep pushing the, the ragged edge, if you will.